Good morning, friends. My name is Priscilla Woodhouse. I'm one of the deacons at Christ Episcopal Church in beautiful Florida. We are having a beautiful spell right now of weather, which is why we live here. Um, I hope my northern friends, I know I've got a couple of friends that are tuning in. I hope they've thawed out a little bit. Um, and stay off the roads if you can, because it sounds pretty dicey on the icy roads. Um, so this morning we will have morning prayer and I hope you have your prayer book ready. Um, we will begin on page 79 with confession. First, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. If you'll turn to page 82, we'll say together the Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 80, and it is found in your Psalter on page 702. I'll wait a second for you to get that page, and then we will begin reading. Psalm 80. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, leading Joseph like a flock. Shine forth, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim, abim, in the presence of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Stir up your strength and come to help us. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angered? Despite, despite the prayers of your people. You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have given them bowls of tears to drink. You have made us the decision of our neighbors, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You have brought a vine out of Egypt. You cast, down the, cast out the nations and planted it. You prepared the ground for it, it took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered by its shadow and towering cedar trees by its boughs. You stretched out its tendrils to the sea and its branches to the river. Why have you broken down its wall so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar of the forest has ravaged it and the beasts of the field have gazed upon it. Turn now, O God of hosts, look down from heaven Behold and tend this vine. 
preserve that your right hand has planted. They burn it with fire like rubbish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let them perish. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand, the son of man you have made so strong for yourself. And so we will never turn away from you. Give us life that we may call upon your name. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Show the righteousness of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reading from the Gospel today is from John, chapter 7, and it is... It is verses 37 to 52. A reading from John. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, Out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water, now he said this about the spirit which believes in him were to which believers in him were to receive for as yet there was no spirit because Jesus was not yet glorified when they heard these words some in the crowd said this is really the prophet others said this is the messiah but some asked surely the messiah does not come from galilee does he has not the scripture said the messiah is descended from david and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David lived. So there was a division in the crowd because of him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. Then the temple police went back to the chief priests and Pharisees, who asked him, Why did you not arrest him? The police answered, Never has anyone spoken like this. Then the Pharisees replied, Surely you have not been deceived too, have you? Has any one of the authorities or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, they are accursed. Nicodemus, who has gone to Jesus before, and who is one of them, asked, Our law does not judge people without first giving them a hearing to find out what they are doing, does it? They replied, Surely you are not also from Galilee, are you? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to arise from Galilee. The word of the Lord. Okay. And now let's read um, a canticle, The Redeemed, The Song of the Redeemed, on page 94. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding, your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Lord, the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now let's read the Apostles' Creed, found on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now our prayers. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now our suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not, O Lord, be forgotten, the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the people be taken away. I'm sorry, the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> Sorry, barking dog. And now for the collect of the day. Set us free, O God, from the bondage of our sins, and give us the liberty of that abundant life which you have made known to us in your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A prayer for peace. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, to all assaults and all assaults of our enemies that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For grace. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your prayers and purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord amen Heavenly Father in you we live and move and have our being we humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord amen Almighty and everlasting God by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified. Receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you, for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And here you may add your own prayers and petitions. I offer prayers, Lord, for addicted for those in recovery and those who are still sick and suffering for the people of Ukraine of Afghanistan of Haiti of Cuba and all the poor in our country and now our Thanksgiving found on page 101 Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Okay, Jesus, you have to pray with me. 
Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a wonderful day and a terrific week, and I will see you next time. God bless. <laughs>